Hey, hey, what's up everybody? It's March 14th, 2021, and this is uh, Calm Before the Storm. This is actually gonna be more, a lot more than originally anticipated. Uh, it is Sunday the 14th, and yeah, it's supposed to happen tomorrow. Um, it's all supposed to happen tomorrow. Just uh, nothing tonight before midnight and nothing after midnight tomorrow. It's all supposed to be uh, t tomorrow. Some different radars or uh, uh, forecasters are saying three to five inches during the day and one to three inches at night, which is pretty significant, guys. Like if we max out uh, what they say from this day's worth of snow, we could total or match what we got from this last week's worth of snow, which is pretty cool. So, yeah. Some other forecasters have said one to three inches during the day and then less than an inch at night. I want to be positive, but I'm probably going to stick with the latter. <laughs> the one to three inches during the day tomorrow and then uh, less than an inch at night. But yeah, we are on uh, Big Bear Boulevard between Division Road and Stanfield Cutoff. gonna be a short little uh, calm before the storm drive. Yeah. Oh, and you know what? One of you guys contacted me uh, uh, to let me know that you stopped at my buddy Sahil's smoke shop and loved it. So thank you for that. I appreciate that. He's he's a cool dude, man. He deserves it. He deserves it. Bear smoke and vape. Big bear smoke and vape. Anyway, so this is the snow play that I always refer you guys to. Right here. It's pay to play, but you'll guarantee you have a lot of fun. Don't worry about cars running the kids over. It's a lot of fun. And they have uh, like a, a conveyor belt that you walk up or it pulls you up to the top so you don't have to really do much walking at all. You just sled and have fun the whole time. It's worth it. It's worth it. All right, guys. So we're actually gonna take some of the back streets back. We're gonna go through, uh, th we're gonna enter Moon Ridge from the back and get in there from the back. Uh, I always miss this first year here. Gildar, here we go. It's called Gildart. I didn't realize it dead ended at Sugarloaf Boulevard. Okay, cool. The reason why that's important to me is because Sugarloaf Boulevard right here is the uh, the main back road to get from uh, over here by uh, Division Road and Snowplay all the way over towards uh, Sugarloaf. So you take this all the way the other way. And it's cool because then I, then I know if there's traffic on, on, on Big Red Boulevard and I'm stuck out there, I can turn on Gildart if I'm right there and it'll take me straight to the street I want to go to and no further. It doesn't get better than that. i get this real quick. Sorry, guys. This is, we got a little glare here today. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're on Division Road. Yeah, what do you guys think? I think we're only going to get a couple inches of snow tomorrow, but I'm, I'm hoping we get, you know, five inches of snow. That'd be cool. That would be cool. But right after that, it looks like we're going to have quite a little warm-up for an extended period of time. So, uh, but they've changed it pretty rapidly recently. So don't hold me to it, guys, because I don't want you guys to miss out on anything just because I'm repeating what I hear on, on the weather stations. Way too much glare. I'm gonna have to hold this out the window and do this like this, it'll be better. Oh yeah, that's a lot better.
takes us into Moon Ridge. So we're basically entering Moon Ridge right now from the back. And this street has some really beautiful homes. I love the love the homes here, especially on this side of the street. stuff you'd, you'd find in like in Beverly Hills really nice okay so uh, the street um, that we were just on McAllister just turned into Cougar so now we're on Cougar heading down into Moon Ridge and here's the ski resorts to the left snow summit through those trees right there but yeah hopefully we uh we, we, we get a decent amount of snow tomorrow just to add to the beauty of this place road right here we're on elm street we just turned on elm street from cougar now we're on moon ridge we're gonna head back home or to the home area and get this video uploaded for you guys and i hope you guys changed your clocks wow not too many people up here right now not too many people at all i want you guys to come up here and have fun though I don't know how much more skiing we're gonna have up here. I think they close in two or three weeks. I'm not sure. I, I've heard April 1st and then I heard April 15th too. So uh, just for those of you who are, have been trying to get up here and haven't made it yet, but are really wanting to, please understand it's coming soon. Time, your time's ticking. Anyway, you guys, I will talk to you later. It's March 14, 2021 in Big Bear, California. And we've got a little storm coming through. Peace out. It'll be here tomorrow on the 15th. All right, you guys, we're going to add to that video. We're on the other side of town. We're over by the village and stuff. This is uh, where uh, Leroy's is right here. And then Chevron and the village up here to the left. So we're going to actually take this side road to the right to get to where we need to go. But I'm going to show you guys this, this back road here. So instead of taking Big River Boulevard with all these people, where it's going to be bumper to bumper, just take Lakeview all the freaking way until you get to uh, Edgewood. Edgemore, sorry. I, there might be one little uh, miss or change of direction that I, that I got to do over here, but I'm not sure. I think we just... So we're on Lakeview right now, and we need to turn right on Lakeview Drive. So we're on Lakeview... Uh, I guess they're both Lakewood Drive or Lakeview Drive. So just stay on Lakeview Drive then and take this... Uh, you can see the lakes right there. We're right on the lake here. This would be a great street to look to look for property. Yeah. But yeah, so we'll take this all the way till we get to Edgemore, I believe. Really nice through here. Beautiful little neighborhood. Right on the lake, man. Jeez. And this place is vacant, I can tell. I'd like to freaking live that'd be awesome. Okay, sorry about that guys. Unfortunately the camera overheated. It's so stupid. <laughs> so I had to pull over and stop till it cooled down. Yeah, that's a lot of fun. Hey, we're Swan Lakeview. 
Oh man, look at that open. That's a. Oh, I'd like to build a proper, build a place right there. You know what? We want to make a left here. Okay, so we're on. We are changing streets. This is called Lago Nita now. Thank you. I wasn't paying attention. Alright. So Lakeview to Laganita, and then this will take you all the way to Edgemore. What? It says Lakeview Drive. So we're still on Lakeview Drive. Okay, yeah, I'm confused. We're still okay, so stay on Lakeview the whole time, guys. Just make sure you follow the signs when it makes any turn. Now you're you're going to Lakeview. Or staying on Lakeview. And when we come out on Big Bear Boulevard, when we get onto Edgemore, I'll, uh, I'll try to explain where we're at so you know how far down this actually took us. This is as far as you can go on the back roads. Oh, look at that big area, build snowmen and stuff like that. It's on Lakeview, guys. I didn't see any private property signs or nothing like that. But very cool. This is Edgemore Street coming up. E D G E M O O R. So we want to make a left. This is fenced off, but look, look at how open it is, man. Just irritating to see all that empty land with a fence around it. Just let people go in there. It's just empty land for Pete's sake. It's not like you have any buildings on the property. So this is Big Bear Boulevard we're coming up to right now. And then we're gonna uh, be done with this video. So, I'll give you a view of the right side too. Out that way, that's where you make the turn next to the Performing Arts Center and stuff like that and the city. At least I think that's the Performing Arts Center that way, I'm not sure. And then this way is obviously where the village is. So, yeah. We're only about a mile down from the gas station this way but you can see there's no bumper to bumper so we avoided that anyway you guys have a good one we're gonna be done with this right now peace out